That's your sports. Let's go to Kenya now and bring you a story we first tried to air on Wednesday but couldn't due to technical issues. Yes, we do have them once in a while. A Nairobi-based energetic Afrofusion band, Sarabi, has been gaining popularity for its hard-hitting songs that challenge corruption, poverty and injustice in Kenya. As the country begins to prepare for elections in August 2017, the band of eight who grew up in the slums of Nairobi uses its music to call on voters to change how they choose their leaders. Janet Onyango went to meet them. Kenyan band Sarabi have burst onto the international music scene. They have energy, they have passion and they have a message. They want the country's leaders to put an end to the injustice, tribalism and corruption they see around them. They want opportunities for youth from the slums like them. My lyrics are so hard-hitting because it comes from hunger, uh, anger and frustration. Sarabi says Kenyans must take responsibility for their part in the country's problems, not point fingers at others. I ask myself, when wrong things are happening, I believe I should be the one making that change. And, but what am I doing when I'm just sitting there watching things happen? If you know we are here because of love, I want you to raise your hand. They perform to local and international crowds, spreading their message of tolerance. Unity. Love and unity. We always say we, we didn't come here to entertain you. We're not entertainers. You know? We came here to give you the word. We came here to give you the truth. So as you're dancing, this is what we are, we are singing about. So for a moment, just think about it. A new documentary about their music and their humble beginnings in the slums has been released. This is a first for an East African band. These boys have they've gone through it themselves and they feel like this is, this is not how we should be living. In as much as they are living there, but they felt like this is not how we should be living. There are certain problems that people are not talking about, but let's talk about it. So they are putting their life at risk. That's the story. We normally sit here and play. Kenya 50 plus one, the How to mind us? Never see you. The band members met at an after-school club for children in Kibera slum. Their mentor taught them to play musical instruments to keep them off the streets. They have been together for 11 years, singing for change. Stand up now when you're still young and energetic. Speak up. You got nothing to lose. When you speak the truth, you die a hero. Until that change comes, Sarabi continues to take to the stage to call for it. Janet Onyango, BBC News, Nairobi. And just remember that if you want to sign up for our WhatsApp series, Young, Angry and Connected, this is the number at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching Focus in Africa. Goodbye.